What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a John Starks gameplay. Yep, a John Starks gameplay. 99 defense, 97 offense overall. This card, when I was looking through the stats, looked like the best of all these cards, including the diamonds. He's got five all fame badges, defense, stopper, pose rider, catch and shoot, limitless range, and deep range dead eye. He also comes with gold difficult shots, which would be good to have because he's 6'3". He's a 6'3'2 guy, but I'm playing him with the point guy because he is a bit undersized by the two. He's at a 94 driving layup. He's an open shot made of 94. Open shot 3 of 95. He's also got a free throw of 88. Ball control 89. So he's speed boost. Great passing stats. Not great rebounding stats, but it doesn't really matter for a point guard. 97 lateral quickness. He's got a 95 steal. 96 on ball defensive IQ. Great health defensive IQ as well. 96 driving dunk with a 100 dunk tendency, which is insane. 90 speed, 90 speed ball, 90 acceleration. This is the team we are running with. We're going John Starks to 1, Baylor to 2. We're going Larry Bird at the 3. We are going Kevin Garnett at the 4. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the 5. Off the bench, we have got Tracy McGrady at the 1. Paul Pierce to 2. Kevin Durant at the 3. Ben Simmons at the 4. And Akeem Olajuwon at the 5. Chris Paul, Magic Johnson, and Channing Fry rounding off the bench. So anyway, we're going to go over the hot zones of John Starks. And then we are going to get on to the game. So John Starks' hot zones, a lot of spots on the floor. Unfortunately, not this uh, spot in the middle, which is not great for a point guard. His release is not bad by any means. Like, it's not one of the best releases in the game, but not bad at all. A little bit on the long side, especially for a point guard, but I don't think I'll have too much of a problem shooting when he's wide open. But, um, yeah, I haven't even greened one yet, which is not great, um, even for mid. Let's see what his dunk animations are like. Okay, that's a good dunk animation because it's fairly basic and it'll be quite easy for him to get it off. Yeah, I'm definitely mistiming his releases a lot. So, which isn't great, but he doesn't have a high enough rating. Green there. See what the fadeaway jumper is like? Because that's actually become one of my go-to shots. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Hall of Fame difficult shots because of gold. But um, with small guards, the fadeaway jumper has actually become a legitimate go-to shot for me. Even though this one is not the easiest to time. But um, yeah, it's all right. So let's just green one shot for good luck. Then we'll get on to the game. Two bad release in her out. Ah, oh, come on. That could have been green. Oh, really? Full white bar? Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against a good team. Not the best team, but it is quite a good team. So this should be a good game if this guy doesn't back out. Bench is good, but not the best. Um, We should be okay, though. We should be all right. Oh, pull up. The three. And Starks hits the three to start the game. Let's go. Starks is basically a Steph Curry that can dunk. Well, he's basically a, a, either a better shooting Lillard or a Curry that can dunk. That's the way I'm going to describe this John Starks. Well, stats-wise, anyway. And he gets stripped. Not great. Okay. Let's get in the way, Elgin Baylor. So yeah, this Kobe... Like, I use this Kobe on my Xbox account. This Co Kobe is unreal. This Kobe is unreal. Ah, uh, the or one, but or one button's broke. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. I hate to be to have some random defenses. Your or one button just stops working for icon switching. Try to lob to Kevin Garnett. And that's a great pass by John Starks. Okay, we got him jumping. Easy dunk. Let's go. There you go, buy him. To the basket and swat it. Yep. This is very tough. Steal. Now Starks out running. To the basket and he gets the dunk. Like, he does a 7 of our 9 points. We're only down 1, like. And he is a very good defender. Not gonna lie. Very easy to control on defense. And that was just poor by me. From deep, John Starks. And he misses it. From deep again, John Starks. Very contested this time, and he misses again. Really not a good shooting quarter for John Starks. The three, Paul Pierce, and Pierce gives the lead. Corner two for Pierce, and Akeem, I don't even know what he tried to do there, but it's a tie game. Like, great defense the first quarter, John Starks a def beast on defense. I don't think John Starks have a much worse quarter than that, so... Quietly confident. Okay. Great dunk by Akeem. I'm fairly sure he wasn't playing right there. But let's get the starters back in now. Oh, backcourt. Oh, to the basket. Please don't get on them. There we go. Alright, I don't think his second quarter can be as bad as the first. 
Great offense by him. There, we're down six. To the basket, John Starks. And Starks with the dunk. All right. Maybe once he starts hitting a couple of shots, he'll be really good because he has gotten two dunks in this quarter and he's been a little bit better. Open three. John Starks. And John Starks hits it. Let's go. He's starting to come into the game a little bit now. One point game and he is 14. Okay. We are struggling now. Down six. All of Fame Dimer pass. Three for Akeem Olajuwon. And Akeem hits it. Oh, from there. Easy for Simmons. That's too easy. He can shoot mid-range shots. One point game. Okay, Durant on Westbrook. Not a favorable matchup for him, I guess. Defense. Great defense. Oh, and we... He missed the dunk. He blew an open dunk with LeBron James. And thank God we get the ball back. All right, 13 with five seconds to go. Let's go to Simmons. Um, let's attack and throw, try to get to a shooter. Three ball for Akeem. And Akeem hits the three. There we go. Tie game. All right. Second half. John Starks did a great end to that first half. Let's hope he can do the same the second half. One more. Starks. Back to the basket. From mid, fade away, and Stax hits it. Oh, pull up. Oh, that's smothered. That is smothered. Get the board. Back to Stax. To attack. Oh, what a move. What a one for John Stax. He started off badly, but he has been incredible since the first quarter. And he's quite tired as well, so give him maybe another two minutes and then give him a good run in the fourth quarter. Okay, can he finish this one? Yes, he can. John Stax. Hasn't shot well from three. I think he's shooting two of ten or something from three, but it's been really good inside three point line. Board. Let's push it. Starks. Three. He's got Gatorade symbol and he hits the three. There we go. I'd say he's shooting a good percentage if you take out the ridiculously dumb shots I've shot with him. Oh, wide open T Mac in the corner of a Hall of Fame Dimer pass. Good wide open of a Hall of Fame diner pass. 98 three-point rating. Clank. Good pass. We're now down one. All right, let's just go quick. Corner three for Paul Pierce. And Paul Pierce missed a good wide open shot. Oh, I should have just reset it. Oh, good. We're in full court press. I think he's going to rush it. He rushed it, which gives us an offense. But he scored, which isn't ideal. Three, Kevin Durant, wide open, and Kevin Durant hits it. Corner three, up a Hall of Fame dimer pass, good, and Paul Pierce hits it. Wide open midi, which Ben Simmons hits. Let's go. He's got six and five assists. Oh no, he's falling. He's falling away. Get the board, get the board. Good board, Pierce. Someone's got to be open. It's Kevin Durant in the corner. T-Mac in the corner, wide open, and T-Mac hits the three. Good block. Let's push it. Finds Kevin Durant to the basket, and KD makes the layup. Go back to the starters to end the game. Okay, he's got a step on him. Easy done for John Starks. To Baylor. One more to Starks. Blow by him. From mid, wide open, good release, and Starks hits the mid-range shot. Woo, three-point game. 122 to go. Oh, pass. Oh, wait. Pass into that. Kevin Garnett from mid. I'm gonna hit the shot. Let's go. Starks is Gatorade symbol now. Hopefully, he can be clutch. And he's gone by him. John Starks with the dunk. So he's got 30 now. Okay, they got the double. Got the triple team. Okay. That was a really good play by them. Rod and Fowl and bringing the triple team. I know threes. Oh, he dribbled right through me there. Come on, 2K. You got to bail me out there at least. Like, dribble literally right through me. I know he's going to take the three. He doesn't have enough time for a two. Doesn't have enough time for the two. Doesn't have enough time. 
and he didn't even get a shot off. We win the game by three points in the end. So anyway, that's the video. If you guys want me to do any gameplays with any more of these playoff cards, let me know in the comments. I don't think I can afford the diamond cards because they're extremely expensive on PC and they're really not great, to be honest. But I will definitely be doing a... Where is it? I will 100% be doing an Amethyst uh, Michael Red gameplay. Because he's so, so cheap. I will probably do a Channing Fry and maybe a Shane Battier gameplay. But yeah, John Stark's an absolute beast of a guy. One of the best Amethyst in the game, definitely. And the fact that he could hold his own and probably outperform the likes of Pink Diamond Harden and Diamond Kobe shows how good this card actually is. And if this card, I don't know what price he is on console, but anything less than 40k, this card's a steal. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.